Still following breaking news in Baton Rouge where investigators there are trying to figure out a motive after three officers were killed in an ambush. And the gunman's been identified as 29-year-old Gavin Long. Uh, he used to serve in the Marines. He served for five years. He's accused of carrying out the deadly attack on his birthday. Channel 2's Brandon Walker is live in Baton Rouge this morning where several streets are still locked down right now. Brandon? Yeah, good morning to you, Owen. Sophia, good morning to you. We're still waiting to hear more about where this investigation stands. One thing for certain this morning, Baton Rouge has had a lot of heartbreak to deal with of late, and this just adds to that. Here's a look at the morning's newspaper from The Advocate. The headline, Senseless, also showing the three officers who were killed yesterday. This morning, we are hearing from Louisiana's governor. You see that headline? It reads, Senseless. That's what he has to say about all of this, too. It's unjustified, it's unjustifiable. The violence, the hatred just has to stop. Shot fired, officer down, shot fired, officer down. Got a city officer down, shot fired. 911 recordings there, shots fired, three officers killed, Montrell Jackson, Matthew Gerald, and Brad Garfolo, all three husbands and fathers. Three more officers were wounded during the attack, one of those this morning still in critical condition at last check. Officials in Louisiana have called this an ambush, carried out, police say, by a lone gunman, Gavin Eugene Long, on his 29th birthday. Long is from Kansas City, Missouri. He was shot and killed during a gun battle with police. He spent five years in the Marines as a computer specialist, including a tour of duty in Iraq. Overnight now, we've learned that Long had an extensive footprint online using the name Cosmo Septerna, describing himself as a freedom strategist, author, and spiritual advisor. Here's a look now at Long. He was uh, in Dallas just days after five police officers were assassinated there by a sniper. After that attack, he posted messages online addressing that issue. But again, as we come back here live from the Be Quick gas station where this attack carried out yesterday, very little has been released about what police investigation stands right now this morning. There will be a press conference a bit later to address that as in this, this community and also uh, investigators, law enforcement officials grieve from their loss. We're live this morning in Baton Rouge. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right.